Place a loop band right above your knees. I'm using my hip and core circle from Crossover Symmetry, but any little loop band will do. If you are starting with like a lighter rubber band, then over time you may wanna gradually progress to more of a fabric band or something like this if the rubber band becomes too easy. So from here, take an athletic stance with your feet about hip width apart or a little wider, knees bent, and hinging at your hips just slightly with nice posture, your back should be flat, core is braced lightly. From this position, we're gonna pretend like we're a cowboy or cowgirl and we just spent all day on our horse. So we get off the horse and now we're gonna try to walk. We're probably not gonna be like, we're really comfortable with our stepping, right? We're gonna be sore and uncomfortable. So in that athletic stance, we step. Little tiny steps, right? Ooh, ow. And you're gonna feel this through the sides of your glutes. A couple tips. Make sure that you maintain tension on the band the whole time with your knees pressing the band open, okay? Rather than taking steps where your feet get and legs get too close to each other or knees turn in and we lose that tension on the band. You might also notice as you're turning your knees kind of out and pressing into that band that your feet might have a tendency to turn out as well. Resist that urge as much as possible. In fact, I like to think about having my feet turned in just ever so slightly. It's kind of an overcorrection so that as I'm stepping, my feet are really stepping forward, directly forward versus turning out to the side, okay? So we've got that tension pressing through our knees and taking those little steps forward. Not letting our hips or body rock one side to the other, right? Maintain that tension, little steps forward. 